Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to talk to you about a new vulnerability scanning solution. It's a fairly new project called Magini. You could go directly to the uh, project's website to get more information on it. Uh, I've been testing the project for some time and it still has a long way to go but it looks very promising so you should definitely keep an eye on this and if they keep making improvements and if they keep adding features and functionality to it it's going to be something super useful it's going to be way easier to install than OpenVAS and also uh, it is compatible with uh, Mac, Windows and Linux I would assume that at one point they are going to have a commercial version of it. The web interface is super clean, it's very user friendly and I wish them the best in this new endeavor and that the project, you know, like goes really far. So again, you can go to the official website magini.net, you're going to find information in there. It is as of now an open source vulnerability scan. Uh, again, I believe that at one point they're going to come up with a commercial version of it. But even if they don't and if they keep improving this, it's some, something super useful. So like any other vulnerability scan, uh, you need to install it. What makes this simple to use is that the installation is super simple. Uh, if you come down here to documentations, you're going to see the... Uh, the installation process for I, I installed it on my Mac uh, but you could do it on Linux and on Windows just make sure you have uh, sufficient resources to install the uh, the uh, the application uh, as you can see this is what this is gonna do for you you know like any other vulnerability scan there's nothing special to it but um, something to keep in mind, if you remember, uh, Nessos Community Edition, they only offer a scan of 16 hosts and IP addresses. Qualys, I believe, is 31 maximum IP addresses that you could use with Community Edition. OpenVAS is unlimited for Community Edition but you also have some limitations and here they are telling you that if you want to scan up to 512 active IP addresses they recommend to have these hardware requirements which is super useful so let me come in here once you install it again I'm not going to go through the installation process because it is a simple installation it is an executable I mean you don't have to do much but what I can show you I did it on my Mac and you only need to type a couple of commands if you follow the, uh, the instructions it's gonna do everything for you and it's gonna give you just like OpenVAS it's gonna give you a username and password to uh, to connect to so uh, make sure that you follow that information and that you are able to uh, to log in right and once you log in if I come here, it's going to be similar to any other scan. As you can see, I am running a scan, a second scan of my test environment. But I also ran one on a um, individual host. And if you click on scan, you're going to see if it detected any vulnerabilities and it's doing, uh, it's also checking for ports and, and, and checking for things that all vulnerability scan is checked for you know you can download this to CVE but let me come back here because I'm running this on the entire subnet in my test subnet and it has already detected many vulnerabilities and of course this is because I have made exploitable as as one of my hosts running on this network so it's going to detect a lot of things but as you could see you can see the results as the scan is running, which is similar to any other vulnerability scanning solution out there. 
but if you go back to uh, dashboard, if you go to scan, that's how you would run the scan. You would click on new scan, and it's super simple. So uh, if you just type in the name, description, and this is what you have to pay attention to, right? What policies you would like to use? If you have used uh, Tenable, You'll, you'll know that this interface is very similar to that. So you could find a, uh, you could select a discovery system, discovery, fast, and ultimate for, and very deep ultimate. Obviously, this is going to be the one that's going to take uh, the longest, but it's going to give you the, you know, the most results for the scan. And you could select, or you could do a simple host discovery, right? And you could select your template right here so let's say that you do that and then you click next and it's going to take you through this wizard step step by step oh description so scan me scan <clears throat> so right here is where you are going to include the targets you could do it by segment by host or by range so in this case i want to include uh, as my target is going to be scanme.org, which is the Nmap server designed to be scanned. And if you are scanning a subnet or a segment and there's any targets that you would like to exclude, you would select yes, exclude target and type the IP address of the target or targets that you, oh, not the targets, of the host that you would like to exclude. And then from here, just like any other scan, is what type of scan do you want to run? Do you want to scan all, all ports or just the tab 100 or just select the uh, default TCP and UDP ports or you could do your custom scan as well right here and you type the port numbers. Let me come back here. And then uh, again, when you come down to this section is what type of discovery probes you would like to send out before you scan the host. And like OpenVast, you're gonna have different type of probes that you can send out. You can just consider a life if you just want to start scanning from the get-go. Uh, that may be something useful if you want to uh, avoid that section because some uh, devices may not respond to ICMP or TCP acknowledgement pings. So you can select uh, consider a live or you can select one of the other options in here. And then the performance settings is, you know, like select normal. You don't want something super fast that is going to cause some problem in your network. You would select next. Now, just again, like this is a useful application, but it does not introduce anything out of the ordinary when it comes to scanning. It gives you the option of doing credentials or non-credentials uh, scans. So I always choose non-credentials unless I have a specific option to choose credentials because I would like to see what a, a potential attacker, so what people who don't have details in the network see, right? But you know, each, um, type of uh, scan has its merit. So I'm gonna do next and then if you want to set up schedule. So this is, as I mentioned to you, this is a developing project and it says you are a community in the community plan subscribe to unlock schedule. If you click here you'll notice that the link is not working yet. So they are actively working on this project you could see the repository in GitHub and see the updates that they're doing or what they're working on. But I'm sure this will work in the future where you're going to be able to subscribe and get email notifications. So you would do next. And the same thing with schedules and notifications, next. And then that's going to show you your scan. You're going to click on save. And here it is, right? You even got some, some confetti after it was... Uh, after it was created. Now, creating the scan does not mean that it's going to run. You have to click on the uh, on the button to execute the scan. Um, 
another uh, useful information once you come to report this is where you're going to see the um, reports from the scans that you are running again as you could see it has some uh, re remotely exploitable top 10 vulnerabilities and pcis so all these says that is coming soon because they're actively 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 working on that what's going on i couldn't can't speak today so just keep this project this project in your radar i mean like it looks very promising but as it is right now it is a good solution it is a good quick scan that you could run and if you have it installed on your systems when they do the updates and you're going to be able to take advantage of all this feature that's going to be also super useful uh user management uh you know like it, this is the um default user that it creates for you like in the future they're going to allow you to create more users and do all that and it has a knowledge base <clears throat> uh, these are basically just cves i'm assuming that they are importing these cves from the uh from the nist database uh the last update was three months ago as you can see here but it's a matter of you know giving them time to keep developing this project i'm assuming that at one point they're going to have a synchronization agent that is going to synchronize these databases with the national database for cvs and then you have the settings so <clears throat> as you could see this is a simple project it is a simple promising project the interface looks really good i must confess i like this interface way better than uh, than OpenVAS Community Edition. However, OpenVAS Community Edition is a more mature product than this project. So um, I just wanted to introduce this new vulnerability scan to have it in your radar. Uh, go ahead, give it a try, download the project. It's super simple to use, super simple to run. And if they keep delivering or if they deliver as they are promising, this is going to be an amazing open source vulnerability scan for the community. So I hope that you find this video useful. If you like this video, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you on the next video.